Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to discuss a very interesting system design concept, horizontal versus vertical scaling. So you often heard this term either in your system design interviews or when you are reading about the distributed system. So let's discuss this topic in today's video. So before moving to horizontal versus vertical scaling, let's first discuss what is a scaling why we need to scale the system. So what is a scaling? A scaling simply means increasing the system resources so that it can handle increase in load and number of requests. So let's let me explain this by taking an example. So suppose we have one website whose traffic is served by one server or only one machine. And whenever request comes, it process and solve the request. And also let's assume this server or machine is capable of handling X number of requests. So as our website gets popular, we get more number of requests. So definitely current machine or server is not capable to serve all the requests. So initially, let's say we have some X number of requests which was handled easily by the one machine now our traffic uh, our website getting more and more popular and uh, we are getting 4x request so at certain point their system resources is not able to handle all the request and we are getting uh, i mean frequent downtime so in order to handle all the requests, we have to scale the system. And so scaling the system simply means we have to increase the system resources so that it can cater all the requests. And there are two ways to scale the system. One is horizontal scaling or also known as a scale out. And the other is vertical scaling or also known as scale up. So what is a horizontal scaling? So in horizontal scaling, we are scaling the system by adding more machines in our system resources. So let's understand uh, this by taking our previous example in which one machine is not capable to handle increase in uh, load or traffic. So in horizontal scaling, we simply add more machine or you can say more servers of the same configuration in the system pool to process or handle the request. So let's say initially uh, there is one server which are handling the request. As our traffic grows, we add more machines of the same configuration in our system pool so that they, they also serve those requests. So initially one machine are handling, then uh, we added few more machines to cater those requests. And as our traffic keep increasing, we add few more machines so that it can cater all the requests. So it simply means scaling the system by adding more machines. Now let's see what is vertical scaling is. So vertical scaling refers to adding the resources or configuration such as CPU, RAM, disk, etc. in existing machine. So again, uh, let's go back to our previous example in which initially one machine is serving the request and as the traffic grows, it won't be able to handle or cater all those requests. So to cater all those requests, we have to upgrade it to more powerful machine what it means is let's say initially it has four core and eight gp so using th those resources it caters the request and now as the request grows we upgraded into a more powerful machine so we upgraded to 16 core and 32 gb so that it can handle more number of requests so these number, the 4 core 8 GB and 16 core 32 GB, I have taken just for the explanation purpose. 
I mean, in real scenario, it varies. It depends on what kind of workload you are processing. So vertical scaling simply means adding or increasing the resources or configuration in existing machines, right? Uh, whereas in horizontal scaling, we are adding more machines in our system pool, right? So let's quickly refresh what we have discussed about horizontal versus vertical scaling. So in horizontal scaling, we are adding more machine in the system pool, whereas in vertical scaling, we are increasing the resources of our current system. Right. So horizontal scaling provide unlimited scalability. What it means is so as our traffic grows, we keep adding more machines so we can scale our system to a large extent. But in vertical scaling, as we are upgrading to more powerful machines, so there is upper limit after which we can't add more core and RAM in a single machine. So it provide a limited scalability. The other important important point is so horizontal scaling uh, provide overall uh, I mean by doing the horizontal scaling so we are increasing the system resilience and fault tolerance what it means is let's say in our system pool we have four machines which are serving the traffic and in any case so let's say one machine goes down so the rest three machines are keep serving the user request. I mean, we don't encounter any downtime in our system. Whereas vertical scaling is a single point of failure. So, so we have uh, one machine, we upgraded to more powerful machine, but let's say uh, due to some reason it goes down. So definitely our, our whole system goes down, right? So it, it becomes a single point of failure. So that's about horizontal versus vertical scaling and I hope you like this video and if you are interested in more such system design video then let me know through your comments I'll add more such videos and please like and share this video with your friends colleagues and that's it for this video thank you thank you for watching this video.